Hi, John Dark Arps here with another tutorial leading on from the one I just made about how to rewire audio from Ableton Live into Logic. Now what I'm going to talk to you about is how to control uh, your rewire slave applications using your rewire master by sending MIDI from the re rewire master to the rewire slave. And I'm going to show you how to do that now. So I have uh, Logic and Ableton Live loaded up already. Logic is the master, Ableton is the slave. And I have already um, created two instruments in Ableton Live, um, a drum kit and a bass patch sound, which sound like this. There's some drum sounds and there's a bass sound, whatever. So I've got these two sounds and I've already rooted them into my two different channels um, as I showed you before in the previous tutorial into my two different auxiliary channels in Logic. So, so far so good. However, when you're structuring your tracks uh, and working like this, you're probably going to want to be able to uh, visually see where the patterns and um, different parts um, actually happen in your arrangement and your arrangement is happening primarily in uh, Logic, although you can have arrangements going on simultaneously, but some people might prefer to be able to see the notes, the MIDI notes that are going on um, in your master application, i.e. Logic. So here's how you set up uh, objects in Logic's environment to send control data or MIDI control data back into Ableton Live to the different instruments to send the note on information and whatever other CCs that you want uh, and then obviously that that audio gets rooted back into logic. So what you do is you create um, a rewire object in your arrangement. So I'm going to do command eight and open the arrange uh, sorry the environment page and I'm going to go new internal rewire and I'm going to do this twice new internal rewire. So I've created these two objects here called rewire. Now I'm going to select the first one and in the little uh, inspector over here on the left, um, you'll see that the uh, type is set as rewire and device is set as Ableton Live because that's the only rewire um, device currently open. Now here under, under bus, I don't know why it defaults to six, but you need to change this to one. I'm going to change this to one on the second as well. Now that we've changed this bus to bus one, you'll see under channel that it actually knows this little object here knows what um, what devices exist in Ableton Live. Um, and just to demonstrate this, I'm going to go into Ableton Live and I'm going to create a new instrument. Let's create a collision, whatever, I don't care. I'm just going to create a new instrument, gong noise. Let's go back over to Logic and under Channel, we now have the new instrument or the new device that we just created, gong noise, unpitched. In the meantime, I'm going to set this to uh, Kinderfied Kit 01. And I'm going to set this one to be the darkness base. And then let's rename these. Let's call this kit. And let's call this guy here base. Uh, and now that we have these objects created in our environment, we can close the environment. Let's do that. Now I'm going to just double click on the uh, on an empty space in my arrangement that just creates a new track, uh, the next in, uh, sort of in a consecutive list according to the previous track. But we're going to reassign these tracks to those two rewire um, objects that we just created. So control click on the first one, reassign track under mixer, kit. That's the little object we just created. And then over here on auxiliary four, reassign track, mixer, base. Now if I select the kit, um, just going over to Ableton to make sure that nothing is actually enabled, uh, sort of MIDI control wise. Obviously if this had remained enabled when I hit the MIDI uh, notes in Logic, we would have heard both the kit and this gong noise instrument. In fact, let's just delete this entirely. Let's go back over to Logic. As you can see, kit is selected and I've got total individual control via MIDI from um, that instrument to the device and then the audio comes back into auxiliary one and then with bass as you can see we've got MIDI control going from Logic into uh, Ableton Live and then audio back into auxiliary two. One more important point when you're doing this 
Um, command uh, comma brings up your preferences and under audio, very, very, very important to make sure that rewire behavior is set to live mode when you intend to uh, do any composing or writing um, using this kind of uh, technique. Because if you don't, then the latency is horrible. Let's put this into playback mode, which um, will basically make the latency pretty, um, pretty unplayable. I mean, it's pretty bad. I'd say that's a good quarter of a second there. I mean, it's, 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 it's laggy as hell, so it would be impossible to play anything in. So make sure that you set your rewire behavior to live mode when you wish to do this sort of thing, and um, away you go.